Hello, my name is Barbara and welcome back to Wiki Design. When I'm not doing branding or web design projects for clients, I like to have a little fun and challenge myself to think outside the box. And that's exactly what we're going to do today as I play web design roulette. These three games of chance will determine the type of website that I am going to create today. Here's how it will work. From one bowl, I will pick a design style. I'm not sure exactly what style I'm going to get because I wrote these down a few days ago and I kind of forget what I put in them, but we're going to pick one design style and then the next round, I'm going to pick the type of business. Again, not exactly sure what's in that bowl. We're going to find out very soon. And then the third game of chance, we're going to pick three different Elementor widgets. Like every other project, we're going to be designing this in Elementor Pro, but in order for this to be successful, I have to use three Elementor widgets that I pick on the page in the design. Now that the rules are out of the way, let's play web design roulette. Round one. Okay, I'm gonna shake this up a little bit and... Coastal, okay. <laughs> We're going to be doing a coastal themed design. Round two, let's go. Go. For a business coach. All right, so we have a coastal themed design for a business coach. Round three, we have to pick three Elementor widgets. Okay, let's do round three. Shake this up a little bit. One. Try not to look. Two. Three. Okay. Oh, I picked four. <laughs> we'll just put one back. <laughs> okay, we have a carousel, an icon box, and tabs. All right, I think we can come up with something. <laughs> Okay, so I took some time to gather my thoughts and come up with a plan for this design. Normally, if I'm working on a project, I already met the person behind the brand, but since this is a made-up project, I had to create that person from scratch. This photo is going to represent the person behind the brand. This is just a stock photo that I found online, but I think that this person represents the overall vibe that we're looking for. I'm going to call her Emily. Emily is a business coach looking for a coastal-themed website design. She lives on Cape Cod, she really enjoys the beach, loves lighthouses, and sails in her spare time. Emily is all about growing your business so you can have a better life, and she has the tools and expertise to help you do just that. In addition to coming up with the persona, I pulled some images into a Milanote board that I think really go with that coastal theme. I added images of lighthouses, sailboats, water. I even added some coastal themed decor that I thought really looked nice. All the colors, fonts, and images here I think really fit in well with that beachy coastal vibe that we're going for. Now let's talk about the Elementor widgets that I need to include, a carousel, an icon box, and tabs. I'm thinking that I could maybe use a media carousel to highlight some of Emily's services. I could create images and drop them into the carousel and have them scroll through on the page. I think that would work pretty well. I'm not too worried about the icon box because I feel like there are tons of opportunities to add that on the page. The tabs widget is the one that I struggled with the most, but I think I came up with a pretty good solution. I'm going to use a vertical tabs widget to create an about me section. I'm going to put the blurb in where you would put the tab title, and then people can click on those tabs and get more information about Emily without having to scroll through lots of content on the page. Now that I have a plan, it's time to tackle this design. I started by creating a simple two column section for the header. Then I added another section underneath with our main tagline, blurb, and call to action button. I'm adding this lighthouse photo to the background. Then I'll use a negative margin to move this section up so that my header lays on top of the image. In order to get this to work correctly, I have to make sure that my Z index on my header area is set higher than the background section. 
Next, I'll add a one column section below where I'll put my icon box. This widget is really useful for short introductory paragraphs, like how I'm using it here. Below that, I'm adding a section where I'll place a media carousel. I've uploaded a few different images that I've created in Photoshop that will describe Emily's services. With the media carousel, you have the ability to add links to your images, so we can use this widget as a way to link to other pages. Next, I'm going to add another two column section to the page. This is where I'll place the About Me section with my Tabs widget. I've added a photo in the left column, and in the right column, I've added some introductory text and my Tabs widget underneath. Using the Style tab in Elementor, I've updated the Tabs widget to fit in with the page's theme and colors. Lastly, I added a section at the bottom with a call to action and a footer. Now I just need to do some final touches and check how things look like on tablet and mobile before I hit publish. Well, that's it. I created a coastal themed website for a business coach. Who would have thought? I really had fun with this challenge because it forced me to think more creatively, especially when it comes to Elementor widgets. There are so many widgets in Elementor Pro, but to be honest, I don't use a lot of them in my design projects. So being forced to do so really made me think about them more creatively. And I can see myself using these widgets in the future for design projects. So win-win. If you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers this year and we're getting really close. So we love to have you join the community. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.